Okay, I have Claire, I've got you up here. Um, and I want to say that this is just fantastic. <laughs> it's really phenomenal. I love this. It, it's, it's so interesting that you went and, you know, surrealism and Dada have, they're, they're, they're kissing cousins, so to speak. So um, it, it, it's just fantastic. I, I think it was such a good move to switch the background from a surreal to a Dada, just to show that you're taking a deeper dive into the, the course objectives and in, in, in crop, you know, showing the ability to cross reference um, different movements by using a visual from one movement, a, uh, a quote from another movement and tying them together so they make sense. Just fantastic. Okay, let's talk about the quote itself. So you've got, I, you know, placing the quote over the face, I think it was a good move. I really do. I, I do. I think it doesn't really compromise the balance because this right over here, this negative space, the smoke coming out, out the pipe, the leg, it, 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 it's, it's counterbalancing very nicely. Specifically, if we go over here like this and draw that guide where the fold will be in the page, which is right there. So just a fantastic job here. All right, now my only question, let me get rid of that. That's just a little distracting. Let me get rid of that guy right there. Okay, so my only suggestion is the, the, the type itself. I'm not real sure if, if, boy, you're using all caps here, and it's, it's difficult to read. Let me show you a little trick that I do with, with um, Acrobat, and it, it, it mimics looking at the work from a distance. And this is a six by nine zine. Um, so really it would be at arm's distance, it would probably be about like that. So as you can see what happens with all caps, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna emphasize this a little further by backing off just a little bit further. But as you can see what happens with all caps is that it stops looking like text and starts looking like a series of vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal lines. For that reason, I recommend not using all caps over here. The other thing is, Let's take a look at the cadence of the actual quote. Um, okay, now we know typographically there's always gonna be a little bit of a pause at the end of any line. And that is just simply because it takes the mind a second to go from, for the eye to go from the end of one line to the beginning of another. So there's a, a natural default pause at the end of every line. So we can exploit that pause by using it to create a good cadence for the, the quote itself. For example, your, your quote is saying, I cannot nor consequently want to try to give a definition, even a simple one, to what I paint. If I did not try, I would not risk very much closing myself in a, and so you, you, so you see what I'm saying? So you're getting a really weird cadence here. It's really difficult to read. It doesn't make sense because it doesn't read how we speak. The main thing is these, these hyphens. Got to get rid of these hyphens in, a, in such a short period uh, block of text and in a quote. Definitely got to get rid of the hyphens. I would say, I would, I would, uh, I would create the cadence to be something like this. I cannot, nor consequently, next line, want to try to give a definition, next line, even a simple one, next line, to what I paint, next line. If I did try, next line, I would risk very much, uh, I would risk very much closing myself in a definition that would later become like a prison for me. So you really have, okay, so somehow like that, I'm not saying exactly like that, I would have to study the quote. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to study the quote and gather the cadence. And I want you to recompose the quote so that it, it, it's easy. So it sounds when you read it like you're speaking. So, so uh, do you see what I'm saying? And I think by doing that, increase the type size a little bit because, and definitely consider not using all caps. Got some weird spacing here. Got some weird spacing here. There's a big space between much and closing. So you wanna watch that. Okay, other than that, fantastic job. Any questions, comments, or anything else, please feel free to give me a holler. Good job.